Riven, a featured article from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The contents of this article are Section 1, Gameplay. Section 2, Plot. Section 3, Development. Section 3.1, Audio. Section 4, Reception and Legacy. Section 5, References. And Section 6, External Links. This article has an info box which contains an image of the cover art for Riven and the following information. Riven was developed by Cyan, published by Broderbund, Acclaim Entertainment, Sega, and Mean Hamster Software, and designed by Robin Miller and Richard van der Wend. Music was composed by Robin Miller. Riven was released for the platforms Mac OS, Microsoft Windows, Sega Saturn, PlayStation, and Pocket PC. Riven was released for the PC and Mac on October 29, 1997, for the Saturn in the summer of 1997, for the PlayStation on December 15, 1997, and for the Pocket PC on December 20, 2005. Riven belongs to the graphic adventure genre, is a single-player mode, and was rated K through A by the ESRB, and its re-releases were rated E. It is released on five CDs or one DVD. Riven is a point-and-click adventure computer game, the sequel to Myst. Developed by Cyan World, it was initially published by Broderbund. Riven was distributed on five compact discs and released on October 29, 1997 in North America. It was later released on a single DVD-ROM with improved audio and a 14-minute making of video. In addition to the PC versions, Riven was ported to several other platforms including the PlayStation and Sega Saturn. The story of Riven is set immediately after the events of Myst, having been rescued from the efforts of his sons, the main non-player protagonist, Atrus, enlists the help of the player character to free his wife from his power-hungry father, Gen. Unlike Myst, which took place on several worlds known as Ages and linked together by special books, Riven takes place almost entirely on the Age of Riven, a world slowly falling apart due to Gen's rule and his tampering with the Age. Development of Riven began soon after Myst became a success and spanned more than three years. In an effort to create a visual style distinct from that of Myst, Director Robin Miller and his brother, producer Rand Miller, recruited former Aladdin production designer Richard van der Wend as a co-director. Broderbund employed a $10 million U.S. dollar in advertising campaign to publicize the game's release. Riven was praised by professional reviewers with the magazine Salon proclaiming that the game approaches the level of art. Critics positively noted the puzzles and immersive experience of the gameplay. The publications such as Edge felt that the nature of point-and-click gameplay limited the title heavily. The best-selling game of 1997, Riven sold 1.5 million copies in one year. After the game's release, the Miller brothers drifted apart, with Robin Miller forming his own development studio, while the older brother, Rand, stayed at Cyan and continued to work on Mist-related products, including the novel Mist, the Book of Denis. The next entry in the Myst series, Myst 3 Exile, was developed by Presto Studios and published by Ubisoft. Section 1, Gameplay. This section contains a screenshot of Riven showing one of the five islands that make up the Age of Riven. The graphics and visuals of Riven were critically praised upon release. Like its predecessor, Riven is a point-and-click adventure game played from a first-person perspective. The player explores immersive, pre-rendered environments using mouse clicks for movement. By operating mechanical contraptions and deciphering codes and symbols discovered in the surroundings, the nebulously explained goal can eventually be reached. The cursor changes in appearance depending on its position on the screen and what it is hovering over to show what effect clicking on it will have. To navigate the world, the player simply clicks in the direction they want to walk or turn. For instance, if the player positions the cursor hand near the right or left of the screen, it may show a bent finger, indicating that the clicking will turn the camera 180 degrees in that direction. The cursor also changes in context to show when players can drag or toggle switches, or when certain items can be picked up and carried. Such items can then be examined at any time, and either reveal clues to puzzles or provide information on the game's setting and story. As in Myst, Riven has an optional method of movement known as Zip Mode, which allows players to skip to areas already explored but may cause them to miss important clues. Whereas in Myst, the objective of the game is to travel to different ages to solve puzzles before returning to a hub age, Riven's gameplay takes place on the five islands of the Age of Riven. Much of it consists of solving puzzles to access new areas of the islands, though players are also able to explore without fulfilling objectives. Many puzzles' sole purpose is to advance the backstory. Section 2. Plot Riven's story continues where that of Myst and its companion novel, Myst, the Book of Atris, left off. 
The player assumes the role of the stranger, the protagonist of the first game, and friend of Atris. Atris is the creator of books that serve as links to other worlds known as ages. The ability to write these books is known as the art. Atris needs the stranger's help to free his wife, Catherine, who is trapped on the slowly collapsing Age of Riven by his unhinged father, Gen. Atris and Catherine had previously trapped Gen on Riven by removing all linking books from that age. The very last book to be removed, linking to the Island of Mist, was the one they held to escape Riven. Atris hoped it would be destroyed, however it fell into the Starfisher, a void leading out of the reality of the damaged Age of Riven and into unknown space. Catherine was later tricked into returning to Riven by her sons and was captured by Gen. Subsequently, the stranger discovered the Mist Book, sparking the events of Mist and, some time later, Riven. At the beginning of Riven, Atris equips the stranger with a trap book, a snare that functions as a one-man prison, yet looks identical to a linking book, and his personal diary. This diary summarizes the history of events leading to the stranger's present situation. Atris cannot explain in depth as he is engaged in rewriting a descriptive book of Riven in an attempt to slow its deterioration. Also, he does not want to risk sending a real linking book to Riven until Gan is safely imprisoned in case his father should capture the book and use it to escape his confinement. The stranger must enter the age with no way of leaving. Instructing the stranger to capture Gan in the trap book, find Catherine, and then signal him, Atris holds out the link book that will transport the stranger to Riven. Once there, the stranger travels across the islands of Riven, eventually finding Catherine, held prisoner by Gen. The stranger also travels to the age of the Moiety, rebellious inhabitants of Riven who, under the leadership of Catherine, are attempting to overthrow Gen's rule. Because of the decay of Riven's structure, the only way to clearly signal Atris is to bring about a massive disturbance in the Age's stability, accomplished by reopening the Starfisher, which Gen had closed. When it opens, Atris immediately links to Riven to investigate and meets the stranger at the brink of the fissure. Depending on the player's actions, the ending to Riven varies. In the canon ending, the stranger tricks Gen into the prison book and releases Catherine. Atris and Catherine thank the stranger before linking back to the Age of Mist. The stranger then falls into the starfisher to be taken on the path back to his world. Different player actions can result in the stranger's entrapment in the prison book, or even his death. Section 3. Development Cyan started working on Riven in 1993, immediately after Miss' release. Before development began, when even the name of the game was undecided, the brothers Robin and Rand Miller said they wanted a natural flow from the first game to the sequel. As Mist proved to be a popular and commercial success, the two developers were able to expand their four-person team to a much larger crew of designers, artists, programmers, and sound designers. Development spanned more than four years and was a much larger undertaking than for the first game. Riven had a budget of between 5 and 10 million US dollars, more than 10 times the cost of developing Mist. The design for Riven stemmed from a desire to create something different and more dynamic than the romantic style of Mist. The first stage of development was to create the puzzles, in an attempt to integrate them as smoothly as possible into the areas in the game. The Millers met their co-designer, Richard van der Wen, at a demonstration of Mist for the Digital World Expo in Los Angeles. Wen had previously worked for Disney as a designer for the animated feature Aladdin. As the third member of Riven's conceptual team, Wen ended up contributing what Robin Miller described as an edgier and complementary vision that made the game dramatically different than its predecessor. Whereas many computer-generated environments of the time ended up looking smooth like plastic, the Millers and Wen developed a more gritty and rustic design with corroded and aged elements. Riven combined pre-rendered backgrounds with live-action footage in order to increase the player's immersion level. All the actors were filmed with a blue screen as a backdrop, which was removed in post-production by Chroma Key, so that the actors would blend into the virtual environment. Rand Miller had to reprise his role of Atris from Mist, even though he hated acting. Riven was the first game in which any of its designers had directed live actors, and Wen was apprehensive about their use. At the time of Riven's development, publisher Broderbund was facing falling revenues as development costs rose. Broderbund's stock dropped from $60 a share to 22 in 1996, causing a delay in the publishing of Riven. Even though Riven's sales were expected to be higher than any other game that holiday season, Broderbund launched a $10 million marketing campaign and developed a retail marketing partnership with Toshiba America. Anticipation for the game was high even among non-gamers, helped by web-based word-of-mouth and well-placed media coverage. Section 3.1 Audio Robin Miller composed Riven's music, which was later packaged and released by Virgin Records as Riven the Soundtrack. 
Miller designed the liner notes and packaging, which included English translations of the language found in the game. Whereas the music to Mist was, at first, only available by mail order from Cyan, Virgin Records had bought the rights to release it initially, prompting Miller to make sure that it could stand alone in CD form. The resulting compact disc was released on February 24, 1998, with more than 54 minutes of music. Miller established three leitmotifs for the game's three central characters, Atris, Catherine, and Gen. Gen's theme is only heard in its complete form near the end of the game, but portions of the melody can be heard throughout Riven, highlighting his control of the age. Miller tried to let the environment dictate the resulting sound in order to make the music as immersive as possible. He blended live instrumentation with synthesizers. Quote, by mixing and matching conventional instrumentation, you can create an odd, interesting mood, unquote, Miller said. Ultimately, he wanted the music of Riven to reflect the game itself, which he described as having, quote, a familiar yet strange feel to it, unquote. Miller described his biggest challenge in writing Riven's music as reconciling the linear, pleasing construction of music with the non-linearity of the gameplay. As players can freely explore all areas, Miller explained in an interview, quote, the music can't say anything too specific. If it says something, if it builds in intensity and there starts to be a climax, and people are just standing in a room looking around, and they're thinking, what's going on in here? Is something about to jump out from behind me? You can't have the basic parts of music that you'd like to have. You can't have a basic structure. It's all got to be just flowing and continue to flow, unquote. Riven, the soundtrack, track list. Track 1, Link, 10 seconds. Track 2, Atris theme, 4 minutes and 6 seconds. Track 3, Gate Room, 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Track 4, Jungle Totem, 2 minutes and 41 seconds. Track 5, Survey Island Theme, 2 minutes and 13 seconds. Track 6, Temple, 2 minutes and 43 seconds. Track 7, Village Entrance Theme, 2 minutes and 33 seconds. Track 8, Moiety Caves, 2 minutes and 53 seconds. Track 9, Moiety Theme, 2 minutes and 13 seconds. Track 10, Boat Ride, 3 minutes and 25 seconds. Track 11, Moiety Prison, 1 minute and 47 seconds. Track 12, The Red Cave, 1 minute and 54 seconds. Track 13, The Work Room, 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Track 14, Catherine's Prelude, 1 minute and 59 seconds. Track 15, Catherine's Theme, 1 minute and 5 seconds. Track 16, Catherine's Freedom, 1 minute and 58 seconds. Track 17, Gen Speaks, 4 minutes and 23 seconds. Track 18, Gen's Theme, 4 minutes. Track 19, Fisher, 5 minutes and 31 seconds. Track 20, Bonus Track, 2 minutes and 17 seconds, with a total of 54 minutes. Section 4, Reception and Legacy. This section contains a table that contains the following information. Aggregate Scores. Game Rankings, 84% out of 7 reviews. Metacritic, 83% out of 12 reviews. Review Scores, Adventure Gamers, 4.5 stars. Edge, 7 out of 10. Game Revolution, A. GameSpot, 7.8 out of 10. Being the first sequel of a game as successful as Myst, Riven was eagerly anticipated. On the whole, it was also positively received, with the PC version garnering an average critic score of 84% at game rankings. The game sold more than 1.5 million units within a year of its release, and was the best-selling game of 1997, despite having only been on the market for less than three months. By 2001, over 4.5 million units had been sold. Jeff Sedgstack of GameSpot gave the game high marks, explaining that it is, quote, a leisurely paced, all-encompassing, mentally challenging experience. If you enjoyed Myst, you'll thoroughly enjoy Riven, unquote. Computer Gaming World stated that the graphics were the best they had seen in any adventure game. Laura Miller of Salon declared that, quote, art is what Riven approaches, unquote, and praised the gameplay as having, quote, a graceful elegance that reminds her of a masterfully constructed novel, unquote. The game's sound and graphics were consistently praised. Nevertheless, several publications found fault with aspects of Riven. Computer Gaming World felt that the gameplay was too similar to the original Myst, making Riven the, quote, same game with a new title, unquote. The magazine also criticized the minimal character interaction. Gaming magazine Edge felt that although Riven was a good game, the solitary atmosphere and lack of mobility was steadily becoming outdated as games like Super Mario 64 sacrificed graphical fidelity for an increase in freedom. 
They stated, quote, The question is whether Cyan can incorporate its almost Tolkien-esque word-building skills into a more cutting-edge game vehicle next time, unquote. Even longtime players of the Myst game, such as Heidi Forner of Adventure Gamers, felt that a few puzzles were too difficult. Computer and video games, meanwhile, believed that the story clues were too symbolic and scant, which made following the plot difficult. Despite the success of the game, the Miller brothers eventually pursued other projects. Robin Miller said, quote, I think it would be a detriment to always, for the rest of our lives, be creating mist-like projects. We're going to change, evolve, and grow just like any person does in any manner, unquote. Robin would leave Cyan to form a new development company called Land of Point. Wend would also leave to pursue other projects. The next video game entry in the Mist franchise would be 2001's Mist 3 Exile, which was not developed by Cyan or published by Broderbund. Presto Studios took over development and Ubisoft published. Section 5 References This section contains 32 unique references. Section 6 External Links This section contains links to Riven the Sequel to Mist at Ubisoft, Riven the Sequel to Mist at Moby Games, Riven the Sequel to Mist at the Internet Movie Database, and Riven at Mysterium the Mist fan site. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.